Hey, Carl, what you're looking at here in Arizona is 400,000 uncounted ballots at this time. And Donald Trump is going to have to win about 60 percent of them in order to catch up uh, to Joe Biden here in the state. But you look at last night, there was 150,000 ballots that were processed. And Donald Trump did just that. So essentially, if Donald Trump is able to maintain that 60 percent to 40 percent line, he would uh, uh, match uh, Joe Biden here in the state. The big question here is I was talking with the top Biden official last night, and they believe that in that last batch, that last batch, which will be those ballots that were hand delivered on Election Day, not uh, not in person voting, but mail in voting, mail in ballots that were hand delivered, those will trend at a better rate towards Democrats because they believe that more Democratic voters as well as independent voters showed up on Election Day itself to turn over those ballots. Whether that's the case, we are not sure at this time. The Trump campaign, though, uh, has hoped that uh, essentially this margin in which uh, Donald Trump has been able to operate off of continues because you'll remember on election night, Joe Biden jumped out to what was a double digit lead. And ever since then, he has clawed away at that. And now the question is on those last batch there, which we should expect another portion to be released later tonight in the state. Will those slow down and be more at like a 54, 53 percent uh, for Trump, as opposed to that 60 percent threshold that he'll have to meet in order to catch up to Joe Biden? Carl? Yeah, Vaughn, it's so fascinating. When you think about Arizona right now, you think about uh, data coming in later in the day, right, given the time zone difference. You think about controversial calls made by some decision desks that the White House uh, did not like. And now you have uh, Biden's campaign manager on the wire saying it may take some time to get full results there and that it, the margin in the state may tighten, like you say. Yeah. And if it does, in fact, tighten here, it's to what extent do we start waiting on the likes of provisional ballots? Down in Tucson, there's 18 provisional ballots. So we could be in the situation where we're waiting four or five days at this point. Uh, and again, though, I, I will actually harken back to 2018 because we had a similar situation here in the state of Arizona. It was a U.S. Senate race between Martha McSally, the Republican, and Democrat Kirsten Cinema. And on that night, Martha McSally actually had a lead. She won in-person voters in the state of Arizona by 0.29 percent. What happened on Tuesday? Donald Trump won in-person voters not only in Maricopa County, but statewide. But two years ago, Nick Sally's campaign insisted that the mail-in voters, those late mail-in votes, would reflect those who voted in person. That ended up not being the case. 48 hours after that election night, Kirsten Cinema actually took the lead because she had a better advantage uh, compared to in-person voters than, that, that McSally did. So that is what Joe Biden's campaign is hoping is reflected in these results that we are going to get here over these next couple of days as well. Because Donald Trump won by about 65 percent in-person voters. So if you chop that back by even 10 percent, Joe Biden wins here in Arizona. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.